In this podcast, I'm going to be running through the preset object in Max and how it works and what you need to do to control it. So let's have a look at the object itself. As you can see, you've got a box with lots of different little dots in it. Each one of these dots, once you've started saving some presets, will represent the data that you've saved. Let's have a look at the inlets and outputs on the preset object. The only inlet on the preset is the inlet that allows you to store the data that you want to store. So here you'll have coming into it sort of a series of numbers and then that will determine what number preset you've saved your data as. The first thing we need is some data to actually be stored as presets. You can pretty much connect the preset object up to anything you want. But for argument's sake this time, just for ease and to make it obvious, I've just brought in some number boxes. Now all we're going to do is connect the first output to the inlet of the number boxes. The first output of the preset object determines what's going to be included in the preset. I'm also just going to connect a number box to the second input, which will tell me what preset I've got currently recalled. I'm just going to put that way over here so it's out of the way of our data that we're going to store. So now we need to have a look at this uh, top inlet of the preset object. We need to make a sort of mini patch in order to be able to store and recall the numbers. I'm going to bring in what we call a variable into this. So the preset object can accept certain messages, one of which is store. And you could quite easily just put store 3 and then connect that up, click it, and it would store whatever you've got on preset 3. But that way you'd have to have a separate message for every preset that you want to store. So what I'm going to do, instead of a 3, I'm just going to put a dollar sign and a 1. Wherever you see a dollar sign and a number following it, that is replaceable by whatever it is receiving into it. So now instead of store dollar 1, as I change the number, ignore the dots on the uh, preset object, but as I change the number, that dollar $1 will be replaced with that number, essentially. Now we've got a couple of presets recorded, let's try and recall what we've saved. So preset 1, type in the recall box, there you go, and 2. You can also click on the little dots in the preset object, and as you can see, you can have as many presets as you want. This object, in fact, this mini patch in general, is going to come very useful when you start getting deeper into audio and MIDI within Max MSP. It'll allow you to save pretty much anything. If you've made a massive synth, it'll allow you to save presets of pretty much everything on that synth. So you can save sounds that you've made and save data that you've stored and stuff like that.